Hey, what up, dog? Over the name Sharp Bates, the Red Carpet Slayer. We are live with Hype Magazine. You got Mr. Fly himself live in the building. What's good? Man, I'm cool, man. We just out here, you know, right now, pushing this money down scene. We're trying to make it do what it do. You already know it's Swag's Club, Incorporated, Ballin' International Music, BIM, Black Entourage. We just out here working right now. That's all we can do. I mean, I came up listening to, you know, I didn't grow up on Tupac and Biggie. I grew up on Hot Boys, Master P. Really, Mystical is my first, my favorite rapper coming up, Mystical. So, you know, I, I was seeing what them boys were doing. I saw Lil Wayne in the city, you know what I'm saying, 16 years old, pulling around that bitch in Lamborghinis and all that shit. So I'm like, you know, I want to do that too. You know what I'm saying? I want to live that life. So, you know what I'm saying? I got into the music, you know what I'm saying? Not just for the money aspect, but, you know, I start, you know, I start really loving music, you know what I'm saying? It became a passion of mine. So, you know what I'm saying? I just start pushing it every day, working hard towards it. So, you know, that's what we at now. So, as I was about, I would say about eight years old, you know what I'm saying? But really taking it serious. I've been probably taking it serious and putting my all into it about, about six, seven years. I mean, I would have to say, I don't know if y'all familiar with Currency, but he's pretty, pretty much underground artist, but, you know what I'm saying, he getting money right now, you know what I'm saying, but I was, me and Currency, we was in the same college together, so we was going to school together, he started up a group, we called ourselves the Rich Boys, you know what I'm saying, he took him under his wing for a while, so I was seeing everything he was doing, he was signed to No Limit Peach, I was seeing everything he was doing at the time, you know what I'm saying, and... You know, just being in that environment, man, I, I love this shit. I haven't worked with 95, you know, five, six years. You know what I'm saying? That's shit is my life. Like, real talk, you know what I'm saying? I, I just I just love it, you know what I'm saying? I, I fell in love with it, seeing what he was doing. Like I said, seeing what Wayne was doing. And everybody else in the city, and I just wanted to, you know, I got a lot of people, you know, in my city that's fucked up right now, a lot of family, and I just wanted to find a means to get them, you know, out of that environment. So that's why I work hard like I do. I mean, I would I would say it is just, you know, trying to prove people wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like to prove people wrong, uh, just make people uh, a believer. You know what I'm saying? And growing up, I ain't, I didn't I didn't have a father, so I'ma keep it hunting with you like to this day. I'm still trying to make that nigga look like, you know, feel like, you know what I'm saying, like this is what you missed out on bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I strive to be the best artist I can be. You know what I'm saying? And do what I can do. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanna I just wanna make my mama proud, really. To keep it hundred with you. Mm -hmm. I it, it is no bigger reward than that than to make my mama proud, to buy my mama a crib, buy her a car, even though my mama caked up. She got everything she want right now, but just to say that I did that. You know what I'm saying I would love to do that, you know, take care of my sisters, my girl, and have my kids. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what just push me forward. I mean, I think about that a lot, but I just don't, I really don't feel like I sound like anybody else. I feel like that's what really makes me different. I don't, I don't sound like no other artist. Like, you know, I, just, I mean, you know, everybody, you hear on the radio, you go to the club, everybody sounds the fucking same right now. I'm saying, everybody sound like the Migos or sound like the future. That's just keep it in mind. So I don't sound like that. I got my own lane, so I can't really say who I can compare myself to because I feel like I got my own sound and my own brand. I would say I'm a swagged up nigga, you know, all about money, family. Uh, I mean, I'm just a cool, laid back dude. You know, as you know, you know, I don't. I'm not actually like I'm sure. I'm just with you, but I, you know, I ain't no extra nigga. I'm just cool and laid back, man. I, 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 I mean, I speak with what I go through. I don't rap about another nigga's life or shit that I don't do or don't live. I speak about, you know, we. You know what I'm saying? I'm just cool, laid back, you know, swagged up type nigga. You come up. Well, you already know. I'm, I mean, I'm going to tell you about the one single because that's our religion right now, you know. We wake up and breathe this shit. We go to sleep playing this shit. Money dance. Y'all y'all gotta get familiar with it, man. This shit is hard. You know what I'm saying? We've been touching a few clubs with it. We about to touch the radio with it. It's called Money Dance on Swaggers Club Incorporated. B-I-M, you know what I'm saying? Black Hunter Rise. 
Money Dance, this shit is crazy. Once you hear it, you're gonna love it. Um, so how we fuck, what type of music you like, you're gonna love it. It's a club, it's a dancing song, you know, everybody can relate to it. And, you know, everybody asks me, you know, like, what, how do you do the Money Dance? If a nigga know me, they know I don't even dance. I'm two step, you know what I'm saying? But, all they do is this. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I, that's all I do, but, you know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody else, everybody have their own Money Dance. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever you get your fucking check, whenever your direct deposit drop, you know, you do your you do your money dance. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own dance what they do when they get money. So that's what it is. It's money dance. This shit crazy, man. It's about summer 16. That's all I'm going to say. The reason why we're even able to be here today is because you actually performed at uh, the Art of Radio. Yeah. And at the Art of Radio, you had Streets 945 Program Director, J Tech, DJ Scream, Dre, the URL, NR for Universal, and Bang Village. You were the only person to receive five bangers at the Art of Radio. You know, that's actually never happened. I mean, like you said, I've seen it. I mean, 20 niggas, 30 niggas performed before me, so I've seen niggas wasn't getting, you know, that type of love. But exactly. at the same time, I told him my, my player partner, so I told him, like, before we even got there, I said, we about to go wreck this shit, and we, like, we know what we got, so when you know what you have, and, you, you know, your brand is, you feel like it's bigger than, you know, what it is at that point, you know what I'm saying, you know, there's no stopping you, so I kind of expected it, I'm not gonna even lie to you, like, after I finish performing, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I feel like everybody's about to give me bangers, and if they didn't, I just feel like they would have been a hater, like on some real shit. Like, you can't <laughs> deny a great, I'm not tooting my own horn or nothing, but you can't deny, you know, a, a hit song. Um, well, it's my nigga Bruce Wayne, you know what I'm saying? He did the track, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, Bruce you know, Wayne is dope. When that beat drops yeah. and you come in, woo! <laughs> when that, when, man, when that part right there drops, like, I don't care what you're doing, you got to turn around and at least, you know, now, listen. Get them familiar with I'm telling you, man. <laughs> like I said, summer 16. I ain't really got to say too much about it, but, I mean, we, me and my, my circle, we already know what it is. We know what it's going to do. We confident in it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we putting off all behind this shit. I die behind this shit. Like, I got two daughters. They got to eat. They got to go to the best schools. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure they get that. You know what I'm saying? My mom brought me up. I went, nigga, I grew up in New Orleans in the hood, but I was the only nigga in the hood went to a Catholic school, went to the best shit, so I got to make sure they straight like I was, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to push that shit till the wheels fall off, like, real tough. Ain't no, like, put some respect on it, like Birdman said. <laughs> I would just say rap, if you have to classify it, I would just say hip-hop, because I'm not, I mean, I could get lyrical, but I'd rather not, because... Honestly, I know motherfuckers know. I mean, hip hop, I mean, it changed, man. Motherfuckers not listening to what you're saying. Like, motherfuckers want to do this when they hear you song. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I know how to make motherfuckers do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to make motherfuckers nod their head. You know what I'm saying? So I would say I'm a, you know, I'm a rap artist. Rap, not hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I love hip hop. I fell in love with hip hop. I can do hip hop, but you know what I'm saying? I'd rather do what I do if it makes me feel good, you know what I'm saying? So, if I had to classify it, I would say I'm a rapper, I'm definitely not a trap artist. I'm not a trap nigga, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't never been a trap nigga, so I'm not gonna even put myself in that category. I think, um, uh, I think music is in a good state, it's just evolving it's changing you know a lot of people not used to change i don't want to see shit stay the same you know everybody want to man you know that that ain't hip real hip-hop that ain't real new york hip-hop like man, shit change you know? in a great position right now it's a bunch of young niggas getting money and i love to see that put they niggas on take care of their family so anytime they can do that man i mean i'm all the way with it. I want him to feel like he take it serious. I want him to feel like he passionate about what he do. Uh, I want him to feel like you know, he know what he's doing. He make great music. You know, I just want him to feel good and be able to relate to it, vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? Do this to it, like I said. So if I if I get your ear, I mean, I, I, if you listen to my shit, like I said, I I, I know I got you. I'm gonna have you hooked. So I mean, I just want motherfuckers to feel me and feel good about my music.
So what's the follow up scene? Blow the check. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you think about making that follow up single, not a hundred percent sure yet, so I'm not gonna make that official. But I mean, I feel like it's just a stupid as money dance. Motherfucker just ain't really here yet. Uh, I mean, it's a great song, and it's also produced by Bruce Wayne. So I mean, same formula, same team, you know, same thing, get the same results. Um, got next. Uh, I gotta shout out to maybe Young Greatness. You know, with the Moolah lot scene, you know, he from the same city as me, from the end of, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I seen a nigga grind. I been seeing him grind, you know what I'm saying? He moved out here, you know, pretty much doing the same shit I was doing. Uh, who else? I mean, honestly, I can't, because I don't really listen to nobody else. I'm not being self-centered or nothing, but I really listen to myself all day. But I can't really, <laughs> besides my nigga, my niggas. Selfish ass. <laughs> Besides my niggas, my niggas King Sam, my nigga Dope, my nigga Double E, Nat, Scoop, my nigga Joy Queens, Ren Gas, Twiggy Twig, got the same banging right now. Besides my circle, I mean, I can't really say who else, but I know when I kick that fucking door and everybody on, so we all gonna be good, that's what I mean. I'll just say my team. I mean, it's not even about just me, you know what I'm saying? It's about putting myself in position first. Having my single, you know, blow up, you know what I'm saying? Make Swagger's Club and be out in the branch and build other artists, man. Because I, I got, like I just mentioned, I got a bunch of hungry niggas that all dope. Like, if you ain't dope, I'm not getting on your shit. I'm not co signing your shit. I just can't be associated with it. My vision is to get on, put my niggas on. Build a brand, you know what I'm saying? It's not just be a rapper. Like, first of all, I'm a businessman. If anybody knows me, I, like I said, I've been working six, seven years. So, I want to build a brand and put these niggas on, you know what I'm saying? My vision is to be a fucking a Birdman, Pete Diddy, a Rick Ross, put other niggas on, make them stars, you know? Just have my new feet in that same circle. Uh, y'all can follow me Instagram, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat is the same. It's Fly7, and that's spelled P H L Y E 7. Not you can find me under the same name. Um, YouTube, type that shit into World Star, P H L Y E. I'm saying everything's really pretty much the same. I already know. Young Fly, Swagger's Club, and Cool Play, B I M. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with Hype Magazine. Sharp bait show, you know what I'm saying? That's my girl, you know what I'm saying? Fly motherfucker, she twists her head like that on the know what it is, man. I said, fly money dance, y'all fucking can get very familiar. Fly. Deuce. Y'all ain't got these. I got the easy down. Y'all ain't got, look, y'all ain't, ain't got them weak phones, though.